In this video, I'll show you how you can recolor your SVG buttons. So I get a lot of viewers who ask about using SVGs as buttons. And one of the aspects to those questions is often around where they can get SVG images or graphics or icons. So I want to share with you today uh, a website that I found called Icon Finder. I have a link that includes a referral code in the description of this video that you can use and let them know that I sent you. And of course, they have a variety of different uh, available subscriptions. So you can get one of their micro plans, which includes 10 different downloads per month for $9, right up to their unlimited package, which includes $49 as well. And I certainly would appreciate if you use the link in my description. But let's scroll down a little bit and show you another way that you can get a variety of different icons that you can use in your Adobe Captivate eLearning projects. Here are a bunch of premium icon sets. Now you can purchase these regardless of your subscription level and you can just buy them right out and use them. Of course, each of these icon sets has its own license requirements. So be sure to check that out and make sure that you follow all the steps required to adhere to copyright laws and so forth. But if you scroll down even further, another cool feature of IconFinder.com is that you have a whole bunch of free icon sets that you can download. So that's a great place to start with if you're looking for a particular icon. Let's uh, take a look at these logo and brand icons here. I'm gonna download, well, the obvious one that I think we'll choose here is the Adobe icon. And of course you can choose PNG or SVG. In this case, this video is about recoloring SVG. So we're gonna download the icon in SVG format. I'm using Firefox here, so it's just prompting me to save the file. Once that's done, of course, I can return to Adobe Captivate and we'll click on the media icon in the toolbar and select SVG. And we'll go and find that particular icon and click open. This is a really cool feature of SVG. So if I select this and use it as a button and we go into state view, we have, of course, the normal, the rollover, and the down state. So we can actually recolor the icon for the different states. So in this case, if we roll over, we'll double click on it and then select the outline around each of the components of this icon and change the, that color. So let's change it to a bright red in that case there. Again, I'm just going to click and you'll see a blue outline around the area of the SVG that you've selected and we'll choose that same color red and we'll do the same thing for the middle portion and there we go. So now we have a completely different look. Here's the original icon. When we roll over, it gets this red outline and let's choose the down state here and what we'll do is we can do the same thing. So double click to get the ability to select different areas to fill and we'll just one by one select and choose a color for all these different areas and as you can see you can select quite a few different sections of that particular icon here let's make them all the same here so now we have um, three different states for our svg button so when we roll over, the outline turns red, and when we push it down, the intersections turn black. Let's exit this, and let's just do a preview in HTML5. So there's our button. We roll over, and if we press it down, it turns black. So you can do some really cool stuff with recoloring SVG icons. If you thought this video was useful, please like and share with your colleagues. If you need help with your next e-learning project, hire me. My focus is to create effective e-learning that achieves your business goals. Visit my website at CaptivateTeacher.com and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel.